On to uh, GDC news, Ian, the Game Developers Conference. And uh, Google, our pals at Google, uh, finally announced something that people saw coming. This was in, in the trades. It has to do with uh, cloud gaming. Yeah, everyone thought that this was initially going to be a uh, hoax. but It's going to be a hoax? Well, yeah, people, I mean... That's people... right. I made you see people thought it was going to be a hoax because they, they, they had the controller mock-up for this Google system. Yeah. It's the Stadia. It's the Stadia. And Stadia events. No, just Stadia. It is a streaming service, essentially, uh, for gaming that Google's going to um, come out with. And there are already some... Um, Examples of you know this sort of technology uh, existing now. The, the PlayStation Now um, program, for instance, uh, is the streaming arm of the Sony PlayStation Four. You can log in, pick from you know PS3 uh, and I believe now PS4 games, PS2 games, and they'll stream them to your system. So that's what Google is going for. And they're going for um, basically being able to stream any PC game. Um, and they will work on all you need is a device that has uh, like Google Chrome on it or something like that. Um, it'll be, it'll Which work will be with, any tablet. Yeah, yeah it's going to work with TVs, tablets, laptops, laptops, and phones. Your phones. I was going to say, yeah, a lot of smart TVs have a, some sort of browser on them too. Yeah, exactly. Or you can install something on it. Or you can probably get a little box that has it on it, you know, like a streaming box. Um, it'll have its own controller, although I can't imagine that that would be uh, necessary. Um, probably not. I don't see why it would right, be. Any I, USB controller probably function. And the controller is like, it, it's your standard looking Xbox One, this generation yeah, controller. It, it, it's what, it's, it's every mashup of an Xbox and it, PS4 controller that's out there. Yeah, you get, you get two analog thumbsticks, you get a D-pad, you get triggers, you get four face buttons, start, select, home. But yeah, it's every controller you've seen at this point kind of hard to reinvent the wheel at this point right um so it, it could be interesting it, it, it by doing this it you know it eliminates the need for people to constantly have and update new technology in their home. yeah the tagline is uh i don't know if it's a tagline but it, i see i've seen it come up a couple times now in articles and news is that they're building a game platform for everyone they basically yep, want it to be they want it to be as easy as TV. They, they, they say that they want it to be able to, you know, you or the internet. You turn it on and you go. Sure. And there's something to be said for that. The goal is that uh, it'll launch a streaming game in less than five seconds. You, you can click on it. This is, they want to do YouTube integration because obviously it's the same right. company, Google. Click on YouTube video slash link and you can play game instantly. Works over screens, desktop, laptop, TV, tablets, phones. It's not a box. So I guess in theory that means that uh, on the service you can be watching a YouTube video of someone, or even obviously YouTube has a streaming service that's you know way behind Twitch. But uh, you can be on a game. There could be a link. Play this game now. Click on it, and you're playing that game if you're subscribed to the service. Right. That's really that's really the the best sort of integration uh, way you can integrate this with your current audience and really advertise it as well. This is they can be advertise it in every YouTube video with a game that's supported. You know, a brand new AAA game comes, game comes out, and then, okay, play this game. Pay whatever it is, 25 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month, and you can play playing it in five seconds. That That's appealing to someone who doesn't want to go out and spend $500 on a PS5. Yeah. You know? Problematically, uh, I, I'm interested in seeing how this is going to turn out. On the PlayStation Now network, it worked pretty well for a lot of things. Um you know, uh, RPGs, strategy games, uh, action games, um, you know, that were uh, relatively basic, I guess. It, however, they, there there is issues. Obviously, it's streaming. Streaming can drop, hiccup, it can lag. Um, it makes it really tough for this to be currently, in its current state, um, useful for playing fighting games. That sure. it throws that off, you know. The uh, timing's so exact. Yeah, games that require more precision, it's it's not the best for. So obviously, that's going to be something that you know that's going to be a big hurdle. They didn't immediately clarify here. It says how fast the user's internet needs to be. They did say this though: uh, 4K, 60 frames per second at launch. That's that you need a <sighs> believe it when good, I see it. You need a good internet connection. Yeah, especially over Wi-Fi. Like I have fiber optic, I'm probably pretty good, but most people have to upgrade. In order to have that be, if they want 4K, well, I don't have a 4K TV, I wouldn't have to do it. But you know, obviously, you need a 4K monitor to get the most out of it. 
um, eventually up to 8K, because at this point, it doesn't matter anymore. 85K, because the human eye cannot decipher it anymore. So what's the point? You're looking just, into someone's soul. I mean, seriously, how much resolution do you think we could see, people? That's a stop at some point. <laughs> so the, the one thing that, that they mentioned is that you could like also play games at points. So if you're watching a video and it's, I guess it's configured, you can say, I want to play the game right at that point. Actually, that makes sense. Jump in. Yeah. That's weird, but it, it could easily do it. That it just turns things upside down, I believe. That changes how video games are played going forward if that becomes a thing. Because then all of a sudden, you don't have to wade through like, tutorials or first and second stages. You can just jump in and play where someone's at. I, as a purist, that bothers me, but I guess it's play however you want. Like Netflix, watch at whatever point you want. But you know, the, with games, it's a little bit different. For with larger games and whatnot, there's always the. I mean, if you're jumping in and taking their spot, their inventory is going to be different. Sure. This, that, and the next thing. That so. makes sense. But I guess it's more they want to push the interactivity with well YouTube because Twitch is a competitor. So really, this would be something perfect with Twitch. But they're not going to be doing it with Twitch, right. which is where I question uh, why not. Because Twitch is going to be a, a huge audience for something like this. You can get streamers on board uh, to use this. Might as well do um, both. You might as well do it, even though you don't own it. You might as well buy in and work something out with Amazon for that. Because why wouldn't you want the biggest Twitch streamers, like our pal Ninja, why would you want him using this directly and say, hey guys, you can jo if, it's, if it's a multiplayer game, hey guys, how about you know five of you join me right now and play right here. Right. I mean, everyone would go out and buy. I mean, everyone would get it. Or ask their parents because they don't have credit cards because they're all 15. Right. But, you know, like, but you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the advertising is built in. YouTube is so far behind with their streaming service. I mean, people do use it, but the biggest people are all on Twitch. As far as I know. I don't even I don't even gauge who's on YouTube gaming. I don't. Right. That was sort of like, not a fail experiment, but they didn't catch up with that. Uh, yeah, this is going to be, you know, it's going to be an interesting price point. I don't think they announced that yet. There's going to be a, a Google Assistant integration with it, asking how to get past parts of the game. That's interesting. The controller is a standard controller. It's, it looks like the same thing they do with any new system. It looks like the same one with the Atari V6, which get into like just different colors. Mm -hmm. um, you, there's a, there's an instant share button for YouTube uh, that'll be on the controller. Uh, oh, they put the Konami code in the back of the controller. That's kind of cute for whatever reason. I'm not sure why they would do that. Did they? I don't see that. It was one of the pictures on, on the Twitter uh, moment. Oh, okay. They, they put it on, for, I guess, for fun. Funsies in the back there. For shits and giggles. You can use a console, PC, tablet, smartphone, or any device. That's great. List of partners they have. I don't know who these people are. Oh, Unity. Uh, I can't see, read some of the ones. Oh, Unreal Engine, huh? Not an Unreal Tournament game. Okay. Um, they they want to bring back couch multiplayer. Split screen gaming will take toll on performance for each player's view. That's very interesting. Yeah. That's very interesting. Is there some way that you can play the same... Uh, you know, squad-based shooter game, uh, and then split out this your own individual screens. That that's a game changer. Yep, that's cool. Uh, the, I'll, I'll give him that. Um, uh, let's see what else. Any other highlights? We, we parental controls. Uh, so this is just brand new. It's launching in U.S., Canada, U.K., and most of Europe. I'm guessing they're going to gauge uh, who has the infrastructure to handle this. Yeah, you I can't launch you can't launch it and then have people bitch about I can't play these games. Right. So and this is go, goes back to where we are with the internet even in this country yes if you live in a metropolitan area if you live in san diego if you live uh in a major suburbia area your internet should be fine if you live somewhere maybe in the midwest somewhere maybe off the beaten track you're out of luck still because there's some places where you still can't get you know more than like you have to get satellite internet in some areas still so it's going to take a while uh to get you know, fiber optic everywhere. Google Fiber is in a lot of places. We have fiber optic laid by um, Cox Cable in this area. We are okay uh, here, but this won't be for everyone still. Right. So you're going to have to, you have to really have to see uh, what your areas uh, can support. And like I said, I think, like you said, they didn't even say what what's the minimum speed you need. For yeah, this. which I have, I have a feeling it's going to be relatively high. What do you, what do you think the price is going to be per month for something like this? I don't think it's gonna be cheap. No, for any game that they, they license, it's thirty bucks a month, forty a month. Thirty a month is what PlayStation charges. So you think it'll be around there? I have a feeling, yeah, because they can take, a, they can look at it from a business perspective and say, okay, it's forty, but they also need to have you know PlayStation Network on top of it. So I think they could probably find a way to make it forty nine ninety nine a month. 
And also, I guess it depends on what what obviously they, they want the best games to attract people. And I, at this point, um, it, obviously this would be a coup if they can get games that were uh, at some point just exclusive to a console and get them on the streaming service as well. Then that's a game changer. We spoke about right. that thing in the past about that be a possibility in the future. About all right, well you're streaming PC games, sure, but what about console games? Right. And getting them on board. And at that point, it's like okay, we really don't we really don't need any more game consoles, which is what Microsoft is probably heading towards. What we thought already. Yeah. Like I think Microsoft basically is saying, well, okay, we can still make money on, but we're not. It's not our business anymore. Right. Just Sony and Nintendo, and Sony's probably going to be shit out of luck eventually too if this picks up. You know. So, all right. Anything else to add here? Nah. No, we're, we're, I think I might be on board for this because I don't like the idea of buying a new console every two, three years. I just don't. Or upgrading my PC every year. I'm getting too old for that. I'm not in my 20s anymore. I, I'm, I'm tired of buying, you know, $800 uh, video cards, you know, and, and but I'm done. I'm into, the, <laughs> I'm into the idea. Just it needs to be proven to me that it can work. Sure. We got time. Uh, we, we don't know what, when, when it's going to come out yet, right? Did they reveal that? No. Okay. I don't believe so. Probably next year. We'll see. 